Hello and welcome to another video. So today it's a sad but also very exciting day because Lockie, my mighty 1.1 Peugeot Independence, has decided that he is pretty much shit the bed. He's got so much wrong with him now that it's just not worth spending any more money on a 200 pound car. But today, oh my God, am I excited because we are picking up my new car, which I can't wait to reveal to you guys. I went and looked at it last night and I really like it. I've had a few of these before. So for you who know me, probably already know what it's gonna be. But for you who don't and follow the channel, go follow me on Instagram if you don't already because you'll see all my other cars. This is my 21st car in my 22 years of life. So without further ado, as you know, Let's get it. Already, today for me is a very sad and also very exciting day because Lockie, my mighty Peugeot 1.1 Independence, is basically on his way out. He has had many problems now that um, mean that it's no longer viable for me to keep the car. And sadly, he will be going up for sale very soon. But today is also a very exciting day because I'm in my new car, which I'm buzzing to show you, which you'll see in a minute. I will reveal it soon. And um, I just forgot how nice it is to drive a decent car because the last, well, obviously, Lockie is a, is a Peugeot. He's reasonable. He was 2001. He'd done 59,000 miles just as I now sort of finished my time with him. I bought him at 55,000 for 200 pounds. I spent about 300 pounds doing him up brakes and a service and uh, so the car owes me 500 quid which isn't bad at all in all honesty but sadly it the time has come where it's basically time to pass him on to someone else because um, he needs too much work so yeah it's um it's exciting stuff don't get me wrong getting rid of the old and in with the new sort of thing but it is also quite sad to be getting rid of Lockie. So I'm insured on him for one more week. So we will be giving him a clean, um, taking him for one last spin so you guys can come with me. I'll show you a bit more about the car because I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit of an emotional one because I've had 20, this is my 21st car in my 22 years of life, which is a lot of cars obviously. This is my fifth one of these exact cars that I've got, which I will, as I was said, be revealing soon. But um, yeah, Lockie was a Peugeot that I never thought I'd actually end up owning, a 106. And um, he was basically the reason this whole channel and everything sort of started. If I hadn't gone and bought that 200 pound car, I would never be where I am today. And I wouldn't have done the stuff I've done and done the trips I've done, met the people I've met, because the car's brought a few people into my life that I wouldn't have met otherwise. So I'm so thankful for Lockie. And I feel like this video is almost dedicated to him. I know I keep referring to him as like a person, but it's a car, man. Like if you're a car guy out there, you feel me, you get it. I'm basically, the reason I started this channel is to get a GTR. Like I'm a huge car guy and um, yeah, you guys can probably see, I haven't mentioned yet, there's actually a bike in the back of the car. So I've picked this car up at uh, 11, sorry, half past 10 from Brixham, which isn't too far from Exeter. I then went to pick up a bicycle at half past 11 because me being me, couldn't wait five minutes and a big, a good deal came up and I was like, I'm gonna have that. So we went straight from Brixham to Newton Abbott, picked up the bike, so we're on the way back to Exeter now. And I've got a couple appointments for today set up, which I'm buzzing about. So without further ado, let's get home. I'm gonna clean the car up, this one, the new one, and then I will reveal it to you. So without further ado, you know what time it is. This Here's my new car, so it's a VW Golf Mark IV PD130. It's three door, sort of, I think the, the styling on these looks so cool. It's got some really nice custom alloys on it. It's an 143,000 miles, which is quite low mileage for these, to be fair. They're quite hard to find with that sort of mileage. It's pretty much full service history, and um, it's been really well kept. And the person who sold it to me, if you're watching this video, Gemma, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for letting me have it for what I had it for, because she wanted 1,200 pounds for this car. 
and my budget was 800 for a car. I didn't really want to spend more than that given the circumstances at the moment and what I want to do with the channel and the other things I need to buy and stuff. And we eventually agreed at 900 pounds, which I'm over the moon with to be driving another VW. I had exactly the same car as this, but um, exactly the same car in black. For you who follow me on Instagram and know me personally, you would have seen that car and I loved it. I didn't want to sell it, but I got rid of it because I was going traveling and I really like these cars. I mean, don't get me wrong, this one does have its flaws. Classic VW thing is rust and it has a bit of rust on one of the front arches there as you can probably tell but bodywork wise it's so straight like looking up the car there's not really any dents i cleaned it up yesterday nice so it came up really nice we've got a bit of scuffing going on on the uh on the wing mirrors there but looking down the car all it needs now is the alloys need cleaning up because there's a load of brake dust on them so if we can get those cleaned up nice it'll turn out really good we've got a bit of scuffing a bit of paint chipping going on the back bumper there to be expected it's a high mileage car it's quite old as well so it is to be expected um but overall the car's actually really clean it's come up really nice it's really spacious again we've got a bit of scuffing on that wing mirror as well but you probably see that but bodywork wise it's in really good shape especially compared to my little Peugeot bless it and the boot on this thing is a lot bigger as well so I'll show you now I mean look at that for a boot for a three-door car we've got um it's really sort of deep and we've got a nice big deep lip so it goes down quite far so there's my hand to give you an idea it's um quite big i picked up yesterday for 20 quid some roof racks which i'm buzzing about throwing these on because it makes the car look really cool and it will obviously make it better to get bikes in and out so i can get about i reckon five or six bikes in the back of here because the seats flat pack a lot better than the peugeot did and we've got a lot more storage space we've also got a aftermarket um amplifier in here which we're going to take out and hopefully sell that for a bit of money so we can put that towards the roof racks and a few other bits and bobs because i'm not really going to lie my days of being a boy racer are pretty much over now so i won't be banging a subwoofer in the back of here because i need this car for functional purposes but the back's really nice it's really big spacious which is cool and um one time by the time we've got the roof racks on here we'll hopefully be able to get about four bikes on the roof i've also just bought yesterday a um bicycle what would you call it so i suppose bicycle rack for the boot so i can get hopefully three bikes on the boot four on the roof and about five or six inside so we can carry a lot of bikes which is amazing and then sitting in the cabin it's a really nice place to be it's a vw at the end of the day you've got really really nice these aren't recaro seats but they're really nice um I suppose they're kind of like bucket seats to a degree. You've got like nice bolsters going on here. So they're really comfy. They hug you nicely on the corners. The nice, the nice um, PD-130 steering wheel. So that's really nice. And I think that Volkswagen have got it very right with the way they've set things up, like six speed manual. And um, it's just a really comfy place to be. The seats are comfy, the stereo's really good in these, the steering wheel's nice because it's leather. It's really, it's been a bit, it's a bit worn obviously, but it's really nice to hold. And it's just a nice car to drive in general, but yeah obviously it is a bit worn don't get me wrong but it starts up first time no problem i'll, I'll give you a little uh, a little start up let's have a look it's avaganda as they would say we do need to get it serviced though so that's why that light is bleeping but that is we already know about that but first time no problem nothing like a sound of a diesel starting up we also have a problem with the stereo so it's stuck in safe mode currently and i need to, i've got the code for it but i can't figure out how to do that so i'm going to try and get that done today because at the moment we've got no tunes in it which is a bit annoying so i want to get that done but otherwise the car man is so nice and it's 900 pounds as we paid for the car so i'm over the moon with it we've got a really nice car for the money so Lockie's now up for sale so fingers crossed we can get him gone but yeah let's get into the rest of the video Ooh, great as it goes. I thought today, lads, seeing as um, seeing as I'm a car guy, I, I really wanted to do a video on the car of me. So it's just a, a sort of a reaction video of my first drive in the car. I mean, I've driven it it's from Brixham to Newton Abbott to pick up the bike, and I haven't done any recording since then. So um, yeah, you're kind of going to get the sort of first hand on experience with me. I've not driven it far. I've not really put my foot down yet. So we're just going to, there's a national speed limit literally coming up any second now. So we're going to see what it's like. We'll do a three, a third gear pull now. Let's see what this thing can do. I can't wait. Let's have a look, see. Oh, hello. Oi, oi. Whoa. Woo okay, this thing goes pretty good. I'll give you that. <laughs> oh, it's good to have power again. I'm going to miss Lockie so much, but it is so nice to be in something with a bit of kick. Nothing better than a good turbocharger, man. Oh, wow. Wow, this thing goes, man. Oh, guys, I'm honestly so happy right now. Like, 
I wasn't really supposed to be doing this. I wasn't really supposed to be getting a new car, but Lockie needed so much work. He has recently de developed loads of problems that are just gonna cost more than the car's worth. You're looking at about 700 pounds to fix him up and get him to where he needs to be. And it's just not worth the investment. It was a 200 pound car. I hoped he would last three months. He's done two, which is amazing, but um, there's just more than the car's worth in terms of work needs doing, and it's just not worth it. And this is where I differ to most people. I don't emotionally attach myself to vehicles. I don't emotionally attach myself to material things because from a financial point of view, it wasn't viable to keep Lockie as much as I liked Lockie. It just wasn't financially viable to do so. So in the in the process of that, I wanted to, um, oh my God, I just missed the turn in, brilliant. Great one, Lars, mate. In the process, I, uh, decided that I was gonna buy a new car and I didn't wanna spend huge amounts of money based on the fact that at the moment, obviously it's a, it's a new business, I'm still kind of starting out and I didn't wanna spend big bucks. So the goal was to get something for around the thousand pound mark, no more, and we've over delivered. We've got so much car for the money, which I am just, oh my God, over the moon. With. So I'm in St. car park right now because we're almost out of daylight. I just thought I'd show you actually because obviously I've just taken Lockie out for one last drive after some back roads and I've just gone and taken some pictures of him for an advert. So I thought I'd just show you actually what this is my car, what I actually was driving recently. So Lockie is a Peugeot 106 1.1 independence. So basically a one litre pretty much. Well, close to 1.2, I guess. He's got about 60 brake horsepower, which isn't a lot. And um, yeah, he's insanely good on fuel. He does about 60, 70 miles to the gallon. It's actually insane this car how much like miles you can get to the gallon it's ridiculous and it's um gonna be sad to see it go i'm not gonna lie it's um other than the battle wounds which i'm about to show you now the paintwork on it's really good so <laughs> this is the damage here so I, the reason i got this car so cheap is because of the dent here i don't know if you guys can you probably can see how bad that is so there's that the scratch and then the wheels probably should be redone and then over here we've got another dent and a little love heart because i love Lockie. that was already on the car by the way <laughs> that's not me um and there's a big dent in there and um yeah it's got no power steering it's still got a tape deck that i'll show you inside as well so you guys can see it's very basic squeaky doors five speed manual and that's still got a tape deck because it's ancient this thing but do you know what this car's done me absolutely solid i mean for 200 quid it done 55,000 miles when i picked it up full service history and like i said the only damage to it is the massive dent um other than that it's actually a really really tidy little car in all honesty there's nothing body wise damage otherwise but um yeah it's gonna be really sad to see Lockie go i'm not gonna lie he's done really well but um all i used to do is i used to have the boot sort of, I'll show you from the boot actually because that'll make life a lot easier, let's close that so yeah, never lock my boot because no one's going to steal it so all I used to do was pretty much just lift the back seats up fold those forward, you've probably seen in my YouTube videos and just flat, flat pack this but all I was trying to prove with this is that you don't need a lot of money to get this little business up and running I just used to fling bikes in the back of this car and you can see it's tiny like it's absolutely minute it's like a little one litre car so it can be done you just got to put in the works so i'm actually going to really miss Lockie. really enjoyed owning this car for only two months but he's done four and a half thousand nearly four and a half thousand miles with me and I, I couldn't be prouder of this car in all honesty it's the reason this channel started and um yeah it's got me a bit emotional not gonna lie sort of taking him out for yeah, one last i think minute. we're almost out of lighting now i'm just basically still in sainsbury's car park i'm just gonna sit here for a couple of minutes and start writing Lockie's advert and get him up for sale now it's kind of a bit of a sad moment i'm not gonna lie because i wasn't expecting to sell him this quick i did have big plans for Lockie. i was planning to keep him for sort of six months and maybe even like do him up and engine swap him and do loads of crazy stuff for the channel but at the end of the day that's not really what my channel is about it's about reselling not about cars <laughs> we're not going to do that but lockie has been an absolute legend to be honest if it wasn't for this car I wouldn't have got started I forgot to mention it's actually got windy windows there's no electric windows there's nothing to go wrong on this car there's no power steering there's no electric windows literally the only electrics on it is a tape deck and the light i think that's pretty much it oh and the windscreen wipers and <laughs> that nah. there's no electrics in the car for a french car i never say i would go french again but it's really well made it's really light he's really fun to drive because of how light weight the car is it's only like i don't think it's even a ton to be honest but he's really fun to drive like i said really good on fuel and super duper just good fun really and he gets laughs everywhere he goes because obviously a lot of people see a little love heart on the back i've had customers of mine ask me how long i've had the car because they had cars similar when they were younger and it kind of reminds them of their youth which is awesome but yeah now i paid 200 pounds for Lockie. he was up for 375 i got him for 200 quid because of the dents and a few other niggly problems which was wrong with the car um i put 
200 pounds into it with the service and some rear brake problems it had and then i paid about i think it was 100 pounds to have new front brakes discs and pads put on so all in all the car owes me about 530 ish pounds so if we can get anywhere near that i'd be super happy with that this is why i'm selling Lockie because it's not financially viable to keep him he's very very recently developed a crack in the windscreen which is getting worse so i need to get rid of that a new windscreen is 300 pounds so it's not worth fixing he's also developed a starting problem so i'll see if i start it for you now he might not do it i don't know let's see i'm not for you now occasionally he splutters so let's have a listen yeah can you hear and he's died so it, it's not <laughs> let me show you from this kind of point of view let me flip that around he, he does he does kick into life eventually but it's not, he's not a fan of it so yeah we've got that problem we've got the crack in the windscreen we've got the it's now developed he's developed i think it's either a front brake issue where the basically the brake stays on so the caliper's either seized or there's a problem there um and it needs the cam belt needs doing soon i think it's cam belt on these i can't really remember it might be timing chain i think it's cam belt but he's coming up to sixty thousand miles with just under he's at 59255 mileage so i want to sell him before sixty thousand because that's when these cars start to depreciate even more anything under sixty thousand miles with full service history with three i'm the third owner which is amazing it's a very rare kind of find so he's worth money at the moment obviously other than the prang it's had and the dent on the back it's just a few other mechanical issues but i've worked them all out and i've called the garage and they've basically quoted me around the 600 pound mark which isn't worth it because by the time i've poured another 600 into this car it'd be worth well over a grand so this is a lucky send off i know this video is getting a bit long but um i just want to give you a bit of an insight as to why i do what i do why i don't emotionally attach myself to vehicles i love lucky the bits i think he's been absolutely brilliant but at the end of the day it's all about money if this is where people go wrong. They invest too much money into a car and then they basically just, it's, it's like, you know, trying to, um, it's trying to fight a losing battle because with cars it's expensive and you're trying to keep it as cheap as possible the plan with this was 200 pounds don't spend any money on any like repairs and then sell him on for around the same sort of money three months later obviously i had to do the brakes because it's definitely health and safety and a service for peace of mind but there's no point spending any more money on this car because it's just not physically worth yeah lads we're going to end the video here hope you enjoyed it now the main reason i made this video is to basically talk about locky as such and my new car locky's the underdog i'm the underdog i've always seen myself as the underdog and I'm someone who is, at the end of the day, the underdog now, but you're going to watch me grow, you're going to watch me succeed, you're going to watch me get that car, even if it kills me, I'm going to do it, and find a way, just to prove to myself and to other people that you don't have to come from an expensive background, you don't have to have a lot in life sort of going for you at the moment of time to make a huge change and change your life forever. That's all I'm trying to do with these videos, inspire you. I want you to do well, I want you to succeed. I want everyone, you know, following me to do well in life because that's all that matters. So that's why this video is quite long because the cars for me has a huge meaning, especially the fact that my 200 pound car that everyone laughed at when I bought it has done four and a half thousand miles with me pretty much and has not really skipped a beat. Yes, he's like, he hicks, you know, huffles and puffles sometimes and does sort of splutter and splatter when he decides to start occasionally. But that's fine, he's done it. He's done loads of trips. He's been to some crazy places. He's driven up to Bristol like three or four times. It's a 200 pound car for God's sake. So I'm so proud of him, but I'm buzzing to have the new car. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. You're awesome. Join the tribe and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Smash the like button. And as always guys, peace out.